react, don't click away, don't do anything. Watch this video. Today we're going to be talking about the can wild technique. This is a modified version of the wild wake and juice lucid dream. And look, if you're new here, if you can't lucid dream, don't listen to this video. Go and watch one of my other videos, which are linked in the description. Or if you know, if you see me in the related sidebar, click one of those. Or just go on my channel. So this really is for you guys who can do the wild technique already. Uh, or you know you've heard at least heard about it and you just want to improve it or you you're looking for something else that could work so the can wild technique involves using sound and it, I really like this technique because it's different to pretty much all the other ones in the sense that you you're using sound and you're relying on the fact that when you listen to sounds in waking life or you know if you're sleeping and sounds happen around you they tend to infiltrate your lucid dreams and normal dreams in a way that's very subtle and I do like this sort of approach because it reminds me of the film Inception where they use the where they use the classical music as a kick and the idea being behind a kick is that it's like a sound that they play in waking life or you know in the dream and it transcends through the dream and enters into their awareness even though it's happening outside of the dream and in the real world. This has happened to me naturally loads of times before I'd even heard of the can wild technique. I'd have loads of these lucid dreams where I became lucid because it was raining in the dream and that made that sound the sound of the rain made me think, oh, hold on, it was raining before I went to sleep. And then obviously instantly I realized, hold on, I, before I went to sleep, oh, so I must be dreaming now and then I become lucid. It's it's pretty when it happens like that, it's really cool because it makes you just think, ah, oh, well, sometimes it can be easy. You know, sometimes you can have spontaneous, really happy, random lucid dreams without putting any effort in. And that's, you know, that's, I would say that's the goal for a lot of people. You just want to have these random confidence boosting lucid dreams because when you, when you do have one like that, when you have a random experience, it really boosts your confidence. It makes you think that it's possible, it encourages you, you get your motivation rises and it's just good all around, right? What you don't want to happen is you don't want to be trying for months on end and nothing is working. And you know, no matter what technique you try, nothing's working. That's gonna discourage you. So, I'm waffling again, aren't I? So the can world technique is, it works like this. So much like the wild or the way back to bed, you're gonna set your alarm on your phone to go off after four or five hours. Now, the reason behind this, I won't go into it too much, is because you're targeting your REM sleep, which is when most lucid dreams happen, which is typically after four or five hours of normal sleep. So you're gonna set your alarm to go off after four or five hours. Okay, now a couple of things. Firstly, you want your alarm tone to be really relaxing. You don't want it to be something really shrill that's gonna shock you awake and make you feel angry and alert and all this stuff. You, wanna, you want something that's gonna blend into your dream. Imagine the, the sort of sounds you want to be going for are these soft, soothing sort of sounds where it's obviously, you're obviously aware of the fact that it's a new noise, but you're not so aware of it that it shakes you into being awake and makes you completely wake up. I hope this sort of makes sense. I'm going to play a few samples in a second, or you know, maybe just one sample because I've got a favourite which I'm going to show you. But the idea is you want to pick a soothing tone or sound. You want to set your alarm, and there are various apps to do this. I won't tell you which apps because you, you're going to want to research your own. Uh, everyone has their own preferences, right? But you want to find an app where you can set the alarm to go off and to, to sound for a few seconds and then just turn itself off. You don't want an alarm that keeps going and going until you wake up and turn it off. Okay, you want to have one that automatically turns itself off and you can search around for this just type something in like automatic shut off alarm app or something you'll find loads of them okay they're constantly being updated but the idea is you want to have something that you can set the alarm tone the relaxing alarm tone it'll go off after five hours and after just a few seconds okay you want to configure it to be going off for about five seconds after that five seconds it turns itself off without you having to move auto shut off alarm okay and what that's going to do is normally with an alarm, you set the alarm, it goes off, you have to physically move and turn the alarm off. Now by physically moving and opening your eyes and you know moving your arm, you wake yourself up, at least a little bit, and it makes it that much harder to fall back to sleep and it makes wake back to bed hard. Really the holy grail here for lucid dreamers is you want an automatic alarm. You want it just to wake you up just enough that your consciousness waken, awakens, but your eyes remain closed, your body doesn't move, and you don't wake your whole body up. Okay, so that's really the key here. You want your whole body to remain asleep so that you can lucid dream. Okay, so the, the alarm's gonna go off, right? The, the sound is gonna happen, it's gonna wake you up, but you should really 
focus on keeping your eyes closed. You don't want to open your eyes, you don't want to move anything. Even You don't even want to turn over. Okay, you want to get to the point, and it might take some practice in waking life to do this, right? You want to get to the point where you don't move anything at all. All you do is wake your, you let the alarm wake you up, just to the point where you're conscious, okay? And then you instantly, the alarm will turn itself off after, after a few seconds, you instantly focus on going back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming. Now, this is where the magic starts to happen. So, the alarm's gone off, it's waking you up, you haven't moved, and it's turned itself off and you're now trying to fall back to sleep. What will happen is, just like with the wake back to bed and, and the normal wild, you'll fall asleep fairly quickly, especially as you haven't moved or opened your eyes. Now, what will happen, I actually missed a step, so I'm gonna go back a bit here. When you set the alarm, you should set it to go off after five hours of sleep, and then after it's gone off the first time, you want it to repeat every 10 to 20 minutes. This is quite important, and you're gonna to need to find a specific app that can do this, okay? But you're going to need to, so it's going to need to go off again every 20 minutes with the same sound and with the same automatic shut off feature. Now this might sound a bit complicated, I guarantee you there are dozens of apps out there that can do this, you just need to look around. Um, I'm going to be sharing, I've got an upcoming project for an app which is in the works at the moment, I can't share any details about it yet but I am working on something that can do this quite easily and it will be something which I'll be releasing very soon. But for now, just look around, there are plenty of apps that can do this. You want to have the app remind you, or you know, go through the alarm tone every 20 minutes. Now, what's going to happen is, you're probably going to fall asleep and have a lucid dream straight away. But even if you don't, because the alarm goes off every 20 minutes from then on, you're going to have a very high chance of the alarm waking you up just enough that you become conscious and then you go back and have a lucid dream. This is known as dream chaining. I've used this technique to have handfuls of lucid dreams in any you know, given morning because you're combining the best of all the worlds. You've got your REM sleep, which is at its longest during that period, so you're gonna have deep, meaningful dreams. You're more likely to become lucid because your serotonin levels and adrenaline are peaking because you're just about to wake up, okay? You've also already had your main deep sleep for the evening, right? You've had the four or five hours of deep sleep, which is where your REM cycles are shorter and you're having your, your restorative sleep. So it shouldn't make you feel that tired if you do it right. And so that is it, that is the Can Wild technique. The only thing I would say that you need to do with this is you need to make sure that you get that specific app that can do those things. You need to make sure it goes off after every 20 minutes and it needs to be a tone that doesn't wake you up too aggressively, okay? This is where most people go wrong. They'll have like a really shrill, annoying alarm tone. It's just, gonna, it's not gonna work, okay? You're gonna be wasting your time. If you're looking for an example, the one I like to use is it's a really weird soundtrack, it's quite an old one as well, it's Sky Cathedral by Hunt for the Breeze. And let me play you a little clip of it. And it's just this really like dreamy, weird, background noisy track. This is the track. As you can hear, that's that's all you need. You need like a few seconds of that. You don't even need to download the whole song, you just need to record just enough, like four or five seconds worth. And ideally you wanna have a fade out as well. So instead of it just going full volume and then cutting off after five seconds, you wanna have like a three to five second fade out. Now, this technique might sound like a bit of effort, you know, certainly more effort than some other techniques, but I guarantee you it's worth it. Like this stuff is really effective. This is definitely one of my preferred techniques when I can be bothered, <laughs> like, you know, I have a lot of other things to do. But, you know, when I have a nice day that I want, you know, I plan a lay-in for, I'll use this technique because it's really effective, it's fun, and it sort of feels like you're hacking your, your brain a bit, I guess. It feels like you're entering a dream much like an in inception. Anyway, that's today's video. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Done.